Buenos dias! Today, I'm really excited to dive into a topic that holds a special place in my heart, fostering a positive learning environment in our language classrooms. I genuinely believe that without a positive atmosphere, our students may struggle to learn, no matter how skilled we may be at delivering comprehensible input. But guess what? I'm not stopping there. I'll also be focusing on some practical classroom management tips to make your teaching experience as smooth as it can be. So if you're ready to create a positive learning environment in your classroom, type positive in the comments below. Now sit back and relax as we explore how to create an environment that nurtures and supports our students' growth. These strategies will not only boost your learning, but also bring joy and fulfillment to your teaching practice. Now before we get started, do me a quick favor and hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss any of our tips and tricks for the modern language classroom. And you'll want to stick around till the end when I'll share with you an exciting PD summer opportunity. My name is Scott and you're watching Immediate Immersion. We'll be right back. First off, let's talk about setting clear expectations and routines. These are the bedrock of an effective classroom. As teachers, we need to establish classroom rules and procedures from day one. It's important to communicate these expectations consistently and explicitly. Don't assume students know what's expected of them. Be clear and concise. Do you have any special classroom rules or procedures you find helpful? Please drop a comment below so we all can learn from each other. And don't forget about routines. These can be anything from how to enter the classroom, where to submit homework, or how to ask for a bathroom break. But you just can't talk about your routines. You need to actually practice them and practice them frequently so they become second nature to your students. Moving on to our second topic engaging and motivating language learners. We all know that an engaged student is more likely to learn. So how can we keep our classes lively and our students motivated? One word, interactivity. Incorporating games, acting, conversations, brain breaks, and pair work in your lessons. Keeping kids busy and interested will minimize any behavior issues that might otherwise arise. Furthermore, providing meaningful and relevant learning experiences can significantly boost motivation. Teach them phrases they can use in any situation. Make the language learning applicable to real life situations. And remember, variety is the spice of life. Switch up your lesson strategies regularly to maintain student engagement throughout the lesson. Use technology, videos, and games, anything that keeps the energy up. Swap out story asking for picture talks or movie talks. Read a children's book to your students a la kindergarten for a different spin on reading. Anything you can do to keep them on their toes will go a long way to keep them from being bored. What's your favorite engaging language learning activity? Share it with us in the comments below. On to our third topic, managing behavior effectively. Here's where things can get challenging, but don't worry. With the right strategies, you can handle it like a pro. Proactivity is key. Create a positive learning environment that discourages disruptions before they start. This could be arranging desks in a certain way, setting a positive tone at the beginning of the lesson, establishing a signal for quiet time, anything like that. And when behavioral issues do occur, address them calmly and consistently. Don't get flustered. Remember, you're the boss. Finally, promote positive behavior through reinforcement and rewards. Praise students for good behavior or achievements and consider a reward system to motivate them even further. 
I use Class Dojo for this. I'm very generous giving out points for everything from showing up on time and asking questions to doing their monthly jobs. I take away points also for small misbehaviors to keep them on track. Then, students can use their points to purchase rewards and privileges. My kids really love this. Do you have any tried and true behavior management strategies? Please, let's share them in the comments section below. Our final topic is about creating a supportive and inclusive classroom culture. This is my favorite part, because without it, nothing else really matters. It starts with building relationships with your students based on respect and trust. Know them as individuals, not just as students. Show them you care. Promote a sense of belonging and cultural sensitivity. Remember, in a language classroom, we often deal with diverse cultures. Encourage students to share their cultural backgrounds and ensure every student feels included. And finally, always be sensitive to individual needs and foster a safe space for all students. Make your classroom a place where students are not afraid to make mistakes because you can't learn without making mistakes. Now I'm curious, how do you create an inclusive environment in your classroom? Let's share ideas below. So there you have it, folks. Some of my favorite tips for fostering a positive learning environment and managing your language classroom effectively. Remember, the goal is to create a positive learning environment that encourages language learning and makes teaching a joyous experience. I hope you found these tips helpful. I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas or experiences. Let's continue the conversation in the comments section below. Have you heard? Immediate Immersion is having its first summer camp. CI Summer Camp, to be more exact. CI Summer Camp is a 10-part summer webinar series that covers major topics and strategies in comprehension-based instruction and will get you up and ready for the upcoming school year. It doesn't matter if you're an experienced CI teacher or just starting out. There are tips and tricks for everyone. And if you register before June 25th, you can get all 10 webinars for just $77. That's $7.70 per webinar. Where else can you get a bargain like that? So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, go over to mm.us slash summer camp and register today. You won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate your support and I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, I kindly ask you to show some love by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any of our future teaching tips and tricks. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way, you'll be instantly alerted when we release a new video. Trust me, you won't want to miss any of the exciting content we have in store for you. Until next time, keep spreading positivity in your language classroom and enjoy providing comprehensible input for your students. Until next time, happy comprehensible input.